Hi there, Johnny here from Johnny Lips from studios.co.uk and welcome to episode number 10. And uh, in this episode, we are going to be looking at the brand new redesigned plugin manager. And we're also going to look at the newly designed I.O. setups and the import export I.O. Um, options. So let's get started and we're going to take a look at the plugin manager to start with. So you may or may not remember um, in the home tab of your browser we used to have a couple of different buttons down at the bottom here we used to have uh, a button that says update plugins and then the other one used to say reset blacklist um, those buttons are gone and they are replaced by reindex presets and the plugin manager button so everything now that you need to do with your plugins, organizing them, managing them, is all done in here. So let's take a look. And this is what comes up. So you have all of your vendors over here and your types over here. And you can uh, reset your filter, you can deselect all these. This is everything that is in um, Studio One uh, for me. So I've got my, um, and they're all listed at the moment in alphabetical order. Um, but I've got my personas ones, my third party ones, and the instruments, they are all here. So every every VST is here, including Melodyne and Slate Digital, everything is here. And if I buy any new plugins, when I install them, if that if the, if I find that they're not showing up, I can just press this button, the update plugins button. And if I have any that are blacklisted, I can reset the blacklist. It's very, very easy, and I can turn uh, certain plugin formats on or off. So if I don't want to use any VST2 plugins, I can turn that off using that button there. And uh, it's all very, very nice, neat and convenient. And I can switch any of them off by um, clicking these um, lights here. As you can see, I've got a couple that are switched off already. Uh, some VST2s that I don't want to use, I've got those disabled. Uh, and so that's that really with the plugin manager. It's very uh, smart and very convenient and uh, fantastic for organizing your plugins. Okay, so let's move on to looking at the I.O., the redesigned I.O. in Studio One. Now, you still access it the same way as you always did. Um, on a Mac, I believe you go Song Setup from the Song menu, or you can, you can actually get to it from... In fact, it's the same thing on a PC, I believe. Yep, song setup. And that opens up the I.O. And this is what the new, newly redesigned I.O. looks like. So you, your interface picture is here, and now you can colorize um, any of your input channels. So I've got my input left, which is my mic, which is what I'm speaking to you on right now. I've got this colorized yellow, but you can do whatever you want color-wise. Um, you can also add any mono inputs or stereo inputs just by clicking these um, two buttons. Um, so there's the outputs as well. And you can create cue outs and uh, you can add other stereo outputs or mono outputs there if you want to. That's all easy to do. But the other new feature here is import and export. So if you are regularly going between studios or you work in your studio and then you take um, uh, an audio interface out uh, for remote recording, for example, so you're using a laptop and then you're back on your desktop uh, and you want to export the I.O. so that that particular device is always set up on two machines, you can do that dead easy by um, hitting the export. Similarly, if you are importing an I.O., um, from another interface. Um, let's say you have an artist or a client come to your studio and they want to use their interface, you can easily import the I.O. for that by using the import I.O. feature. Um, and that is um, a very heavily requested feature um, from answers.presonas.com. So if you have any other feature requests, that's the place to go because um, if you campaign for them and you get people to vote them up, the more votes you get, the more likely the development team um, over at um, Persona Software Limited in Hamburg 
are going to look at your features and uh, the most voted ones are going to get voted up and uh, they will look at those and um, it's likely that, that your feature request if it gets a lot of votes will make it into a version of Studio One an update or an upgrade or something like that all right so that's the IO and the new plugin manager so I will see you on the next video bye for now